In this video, we're going to cover everything you need to know about a torvastatin, a medication used to prevent heart attacks and strokes. And we're going to answer 10 common questions. Let's just dive in. Number one, what is a torvastatin? A torvastatin is commonly known by its brand name, which is Lipitor. It's one of the most frequently prescribed medications in the world. It belongs to a group of medications called statins, and statins are used to help decrease your risk of heart attacks and strokes by lowering your cholesterol. Why your doctor put you on a statin? If you are put on a statin, it's because you already have a heart disease, coronary artery disease, or carotid disease, or you are at high risk. If you have very high cholesterol, if you have a family history of premature coronary artery disease, and this means a first-degree relative in men at 55 or younger, and for women 65 or younger. Or if you have some other conditions like diabetes and some inflammatory disease like rheumatoid arthritis, conditions that increase significantly your risk of developing uh, heart attacks or strokes in the next 10 years. How does the torvastatin work? A torvastatin kicks into gear uh, by blocking an enzyme in your liver that is responsible for cholesterol production. And by reducing the formation of cholesterol, it brings the LDL, the low density lipoprotein cholesterol down. And actual torvastatin also will increase the so-called good cholesterol, the HDL, uh, high density lipoprotein. And you could usually see results within four weeks. Let's look at question number four. Who might not be a candidate for a torvastatin? A torvastatin is not suitable for everybody. And it should be avoided in those who have severe liver disease, those who drink high amounts of alcohol. And if you have a family history of muscular disorders, or if you had a stroke caused by a brain bleed, and obviously, if you are pregnant or breastfeeding, you should not be on a statin. How should I take my atorvastatin? Your liver makes most of the cholesterol at night, between midnight and 2 a.m. Many statins will have a shorter half-life, meaning they stay in the bloodstream for short periods of time, three or four hours, should be taken at night. A torvastatin has a longer half-life, meaning it stays in the bloodstream a lot longer after you take, and it really does not make much difference what time of the day you take it. It should, however, be uh, consistent. And the torvastatin comes in pills ranging from 10 milligrams to up to 80 milligrams. And the 10 milligrams and 20 milligram pills are also uh, available as a chewable uh, tablets, and you can take with or without food. However, if you're having some stomach upset, stomach discomfort, maybe a good idea to take after a meal. And number six, I forgot to take my atorvastatin. What should I do? If you forgot to take your atorvastatin, uh, you want to take it as soon as you remember, but skip the missed dose if it's almost time for your next uh, scheduled dose. I would say because the torvastatin is taking once a day, if you remember in the next eight hours or so, it's okay to take it. However, after that, do not double up on the dose of a statin. Wait for your next uh, dose. Let's address the common question. What are the side effects of a torvastatin? Like any other medications, a torvastatin does have side effects. However, it's important to remember that most of the people take a torvastatin do not have any side effects. I myself have been on a statin for many years. I don't have any side effects whatsoever. However, there are common side effects. And you could have uh, some gastrointestinal side effects. You could have stomach upset, indigestion. You could have constipation. You could have diarrhea. You could have flatulence, especially when you the beginning when you start in the statin. And obviously you could have fatigue and muscle pain and muscle aches as well. And you could develop uh, cold-like symptoms, a runny a nose and a sore uh, throat. These are common side effects. In rare situations, you could have a condition called 
low platelets called thrombocytopenia that may prolong the time it takes for your blood to uh, stop bleeding. And some people could have other uncommon uh, side effects, uh, hair loss being one of them. And people want to know, does taking a thrombocytopenia increase the risk of developing diabetes? In certain people, there is a small risk of developing diabetes, especially if you're already prone to it. If you have high sugar levels to start with, if you have a condition called uh, pre-diabetes, it can push you into be diagnosed as uh, with uh, diabetes. And another common uh, question that patients have about side effects is, does a thorvastatin cause a dementia? And the answer is no. However, thorvastatin in some people can cause some short-term memory loss that is different from dementia and this reversibly goes away once you stop the medication. Let's address questions number eight about serious side effects. When should you stop taking your atorvastatin? If you develop severe muscle aching, muscle pain, weakness, or cramping, and if you have very dark urine, these are situations where you need to stop your start and contact your doctor. The same thing if you have yellowing of the skin and yellowing of the white in your eyes. These are signs that you may develop a severe liver toxicity. And if you are hit with severe abdominal pain, it could be a sign of inflammation in your pancreas called pancreatitis. And obviously, if you develop a, a severe allergy, if you have uh, facial swelling or neck swelling, difficulty in breathing. These are conditions we need to stop the thorvastatin immediately and contact your uh, doctor or other healthcare professional. And to learn more about side effects of statins to prevent a heart attack and stroke, watch this video, side effects of taking statins, facts or myths, and I'll put a link above and on the description below. Let's address uh, question number nine. Which medications and foods interact with uh, atorvastatin? In fact, there are common interactions with other medications with atorvastatin. And one of them is a group of medications called fibrates, especially one called gene fibrozil. And if you're taking certain antibiotics called microlide antibiotics like erythromycin, and certain antifungal medications, itraconazole, ketoconazole, and cyclosporin, and even a blood thinner called Coumadin. All these medications can and do interfere with the uh, uh, level of thorvastatin in your blood. And there's a vitamin B3 or niacin that also have to be very careful because increases the likelihood of having side effects and potentially muscle breakdown. In the past, we used to add niacin to uh, statins like atorvastatin. We no longer do that because very large randomized clinical trials clearly show that once you are on a statin, there is no benefit of adding niacin. However, you increase the likelihood of having uh, serious side effects. And we can't forget it's not just medications. It's uh, grapefruit and grape juice can increase the risk of side effects as well. So if you are on a thorvastatin one and you are taking one of the medications I mentioned, your doctor may prescribe a lower dose or may switch to a different uh, statin. And when it comes to interaction, don't forget there are apps like Hippocrates uh, and other apps where you can actually check if the medications you are taking will interfere with the thorvastatin. And very importantly, don't forget your pharmacist. Pharmacists are very knowledgeable and they can help you identify if there is any interactions between the thorvastatin and the medications you are already taking. Let's address question number 10. Can I drink alcohol if I'm taking the thorvastatin? And the answer is yes. However, you wanna limit the amount of alcohol and stay within the guidelines. Two drinks for men and one drink for women uh, per day because if you take excessive amounts of alcohol it can certainly interfere with your liver and get you into trouble. And a torvastatin works best when combined with a healthy lifestyle. It includes a diet rich in fruits and vegetables, 
regular exercise and avoiding uh, smoking. And this change is not only enhanced effectiveness of the medication, but also improve your overall heart health. And to learn more how to lower your cholesterol naturally with the diet, watch this video, say goodbye cholesterol with the food. I'll put a link above and on the description below. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, share it with your family and friends. And remember your health, your most precious asset, take control. See you next video.